Good afternoon everybody. It is February 21st, 2019. It's 32 degrees out here in North Idaho. Sunny and beautiful. I'm Jody, and welcome to Moose Flats Farms. I was going to do a two-part video on converting Kiesel's old bedroom into a turkey brooder, but during the editing process the first half of it disappeared. So it's just going to be the last part, which is just doing the turkey pen itself. Hope you enjoy it and talk to you later. Have a good day. probably get the light brought in and at least plugged in before I slide everything in and then can't do it. started on so I can get that watch out for the camera and the tripod Darla's party ball. It's a little furry. Who knows, maybe the turkeys would like the different colored stars. See if they're silly enough to chase them. Kiesel, it's not full of dog fur over here. You're not doing a good job. Usually you fill any spare spot with dog fur. One of the hazards of the German Shepherd is they shed like there's no tomorrow. Okay, let's go out and bring in those sheets two foot sheets of OSB and see how they're going to fit. So the purpose of the blue tarp, we did this with the baby ducks, just helps keep everything nice and dry and the shavings a little more contained even though we have the OSB around, shavings have a tendency to get everywhere. So I line it with the blue tarp and then I put the OSB walls in and hopefully I don't have to go trim the OSB. It will all slide right in but knowing my luck I'm going to wind up having to trim one or two. We 
would have been nice if there was such a thing as like a 5x5 five five tarp, but the smallest I could find at Home Depot was a 6x8. So I'll kind of get it up the sides, a couple zip ties just to keep it from moving too much. Let's see about getting that one on the back wall. And I am going to have to trim them. Yay. Okay, so going to have to take a pause for now until I figure out what size I need to trim these guys down to and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so I can do the two side pieces because they are exactly four foot, so I can <coughs> get those guys in, and then I'll just measure for cutting of the other two. have to drill a couple holes in this and put a couple zip ties just to keep it from moving until I get the side pieces in. Just like that. I swear duct tie or zip ties have become the new bailing twine. I don't really have that type of farm. And I told them this that bar. So really don't have any bailing twine, so to speak of. So 550 cord, zip ties. Say hi, darling. No, we just got a little booty shot. If you guys over here so you can hopefully see me get this other one in.
And don't do that. Kick the board a little too hard and ripped a corner of the tarp. But like I said, this is for turkeys and they're not water hogs like ducks are, so it doesn't really have to be watertight, just more water resistant. Okay, that, we'll get that snug into place. So now I just have to measure the two ends and get them trimmed and then and attached and then we can fill it full of shavings. So I'm going to measure from the middle outside to the middle outside and see what that says and then I'll measure the two ends just to make sure that we're relatively square. So middle outside to outside is 43 and a half. Get my scratch paper. Let's see what the back corner reads. From outside to outside. If the tape will cooperate with me. Forty-three and a half there. So we'd be trimming the board at forty-two and a half, I think it will be. But I'll double check on the front one. Outside, see that one's a little wider. It's 44, it's a half an inch. So it could be part of the cage. I'm not sure how, but oh well. So let's measure the the bottom and see what that says. Forty-two and a half will be a little loose, so because I want it fairly snug. So if I push it in, I can do forty-three in there. Let me just double check. Yep. We'll have to we'll have to trim those two down to 43 inches. So brought it outside so I can trim it. Quite a bit. So I'm going to run inside and 
measure again. Okay. The other time when I measured, it said 43 and a half, and I was pushing to get that. Would have been tight on the back side. So this time when I measured, 42 and a half sounds like a lot better number to shoot for. jigsaw to do this. Could get the skill saw, but this was easier to grab. One down, one to go. And I did it. So, take you guys back inside where it's warm and put the stuff away and then come in and finish what we're doing. Well, we're back inside where it's nice and warm. Let's see if I cut, measured, measured, measured and cut right. Should slide in, it'll be a little snug. Just like that. Like I know what I'm doing. Drill a couple holes and get it secured. And I have no more zip ties in my pocket, so let me grab a couple. Hi Yeti, you gonna come and check it out before there's babies in here and you can't? Bella, there's gonna be babies. Nothing makes Bella happier than baby chicks, baby turkeys, baby, baby ducks, baby fowl of any kind. She is just wants to be their mommy. Got that one in there. You want to say hi to everybody, Yeti? Look. You want to say hi? No? Belly, you want to say hi? Say hi to everybody. No? Yeah, you're a good girl. Okay, let me grab a couple zip ties and this other board. And I'm going to have to move the camera because i got to swing the gate out. So, bring the board in. Try not to squish the cat.
going to lock you in there, Yeti. going to come and investigate. What you guys think? Is mama being weird? have to drill a couple of holes. That'll be pretty good. Just have to neaten up the corner of this tarp. We'll get the staple gun and throw a couple staples on it. put a couple staples to hold this out of the way. There we go. I would Put a couple zip ties to secure this, but since I am going to be stepping over it to get in with the baby turkeys, and I know I'm going to catch my foot on it either going in or going out, and I'll just wind up popping zip ties. I'd rather have it give a little, so hopefully I don't smash my face into something. So. Let's go grab the shavings and fill her up. I'll be right back. glad that I moved that netting because it would have been catching my hair every time I came in here.
and I'll probably put about two inches of shavings in here. But yeah, I'm glad I'm doing this now and not with the baby chicks sitting in a little box ready to come home because these shavings are cold. And that should be a good start for the bedding. It's about two inches of pine shavings. Gonna have their heat light over here. That one on the USB. Maybe it will have to be here. Good thing the light wasn't in there. I don't know if I like it there, if I want it more in the corner. Touch the OSB. couple inches away so well I'll go grab the light bulb and the garden plug it in and give it probably about an hour should be able to tell me height wise that's about right for them won't know a hundred percent till they get here and then they'll tell me if it needs to be go up or down Okay, brought some of the goodies too. Save me a trip. Put this over in that corner. foot might not seem like a lot to step over but probably wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have my big heavy snow boots on. I'll probably get some 550 cord and run it from here up to there just to help keep it away from the shavings but I know that things are supposed to say that stay, but it's not really wanting to stay well in my situation. But I'll just keep an eye on that. Brought in a little pine round that'll just set in here in the shavings. Get it relatively level, and they should be able to jump up and on it for their water and it's 
so like I said some trouble with the editing and I lost the last part of the end of the movie so I brought in a log to put their water on and I have the leftover strips of OSB that I'm going to put their feeder on and this is it and I did do some 550 cord to help hold the light and hopefully in the next week or so my feed store will have baby turkeys in and we'll get them picked up. Now that that project's done I'm gonna enjoy some tea and go out and get some firewood debating on the aspen because or the birch I should say because Dave and John loves the smell of that and we're pretty much into that section of firewood of setting it making another pile with it off to the side for summer burning but I've already made a pile with it being separated and then it got intermixed with the regular firewood and but it sure makes for a really hot fire. I think I need to go put the fan in the window. I think it's like 85 in here now. And the stove is turned down all the way. Well, hope you guys enjoyed my little video on how to make a turkey brooder. It's the way I've done the baby ducks and some baby chicks and hopefully it's warm enough that the mama hen will be able to keep her babies outside once they hatch but if it doesn't look like it's gonna work out I will collect them and bring them into the house may even bring her in we'll just have to play it by ear because I don't want to lose any of those little banny chicks so I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good day. Bye.